Hi, continuing from where we left for the logistic regression, we, we, had, we had understood the concept of logistic regression, why do we need that and we had also, uh, you know, created the model uh, in R. The next step is uh, taking it to Azure Machine Learning. Uh, I have imported the data set that we had discussed, that is the Titanic data set. Uh, again, the data set looks something like this, uh, as I had discussed it in, in the last video. Uh, and it was, and this this is our dependent variable or the regression that we want to analyze. That is the, the number of uh, passengers in the Titanic would survive the Titanic disaster based on their independent variables. That is the class, sex, age, siblings, parents are traveling with them, and they're embarked. So that's all we have now. We take this up uh, on and, and build the model on Azure. So let's go back to experiments and uh, let's uh, cr let's create quickly a new one. Uh, cool so we bring out a blank experiment and let's call it logistic regression titanic good to go uh, let's get our titanic data set okay so let's try to see the data set there you go you have the survived class sex age siblings embarked and all of them so uh, the survived is a dichotomous variable it has two unique values and all those uh, the class has two unique values blah 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 it's almost the same okay we are good so we are good with the data let's go to data transformation the first step is to select the column so let's choose and we launch the column selector okay we get all of them the next is split the data let's try to split it uh, about 75 percent and it's a random split 75 percent to 25 should be good okay awesome so we've done that now let's uh, try to initialize a model and the model is actually classification so we want a two class logistic regression that's all we're looking at so that's all we're looking at and then we want to train our model with the test with the train data so the data set here what we are trying to see is survived that's it and the next is we would like to score the model let's try scoring it with our test data set and then at the end we would want to evaluate the model let's evaluate it oh we are all good we are done building this model let's run it Cool. So our model is uh, evaluated, scored, and evaluated low. So if you want to just check check the results, let's see the scoring. These are the probabilities which we have scored for for the test data set. That is the twenty five percent of of the data set that we had split. Okay, uh, that's the results and let's check 
the evaluation results. So now this was the ROC curve that we that I had talked about. Now if you want to understand the explanation of the ROC curve and the confusion matrix, I would suggest you to go back to my last uh, video where I have explained it in, in, in detail uh, about the ROC and what is the accuracy of your logistic regression model and, and, uh, and whatever you've seen here that is the true positives. Uh, true negatives, false negative and the false positive ones and the positive lab labels. The accuracy here at the threshold of 0.5 is about 85%. Uh, I have also explained what is the threshold and how you can judge that. And if you, what happens when you change that, how is your accuracy basically uh, changing in terms of your true positives and your true negatives. So, and what is the precision about? So, AUC is the area on the curve and, and here you see is the accuracy and the precision. So, uh, based on that, the value of, of the survival would change. So, that's how we have quick, quickly created the model. This was more like helping you create the model, but understanding the concepts of logistic regression and what each of these uh, values mean, I would suggest you to go back to my last video. I have explained that in, in, in great details uh, from here on you can actually since this this model is ready you can actually create a web service I have I have already uh, created the blog for for creating the web service and how you can actually publish it and and, and then use it in production for your predictive uh, you know analysis and, and to be uh, to understand these dichotomous classification results uh, I hope this was a helpful session in terms of building the uh, logistic regression onto uh, Azure machine learning uh, see you soon. Thank you so much.